Wesley L. Fox, a retired Marine Corps colonel who received the Medal of Honor for rallying his men during a Vietnam War operation that decimated enemy sanctuaries along the mountain jungle border with Laos, died November 24 at his home in Blacksburg, VA. He was 86. The Congressional Medal of Honor Society announced his death but did not provide a cause. Colonel Fox, a self-described farm boy from Virginia's Shenandoah Valley, grew up entranced by tales of forebears who shed blood for the Confederacy to fight what they called Yankee aggression. He quipped that his middle name Lee made explicit his family's devotion to their southern heritage. When the Korean War began in 1950, he later told Vietnam Magazine, I saw it as a chance to catch up to my cousin Norman, who jumped into Italy and Normandy in World War II. Because of him, I was interested in the airborne. One rainy day when we couldn't work on the farm, he said, a buddy and I drove to the recruiters in Washington, D.C. I told the Marine recruiter I was trying to decide between the Marines and the airborne. He said, Hal, boy, what's wrong with the paramarines? That did it. I didn't know the paramarines disbanded in 1944. If I'd seen an army recruiter first, who knows? But that lying marine got to me first. He was wounded in action while serving as a rifleman and, after the war, became a drill instructor, recruiter, master parachutist and award-winning shooter at service rifle and pistol matches. Above all, he told the Library of Congress Veterans History Project, he yearned to return to combat and saw President Lyndon B. Johnson's announcement about committing ground troops to Vietnam as his chance. He was probably the only leatherneck in the world to consider himself screwed when he, then a gunnery sergeant, was instead assigned to Marine duty protecting a NATO meeting in Paris. Because of a huge demand for seasoned Marine leaders in Vietnam, he received a temporary commission as a second lieutenant in 1966. He arrived the next year, advising a South Vietnamese Marine battalion whose tactics, he said, were best summed up as search and avoid. He was promoted to first lieutenant and rifle company commander in time to participate in Operation Dewey Canyon, which became one of the Marines' last major offensives of the war. The mission, in two phases starting in January 1969, was to disrupt a North Vietnamese military division on the border with Laos and to attack when the enemy least expected it. They were considered to be the best operations we ever conducted in South Vietnam, said military historian Bing West, a Marine Corps infantry officer during the war. Of all the operations in Vietnam it was the most classic in that it caught the North Vietnamese totally by surprise. First, the North Vietnamese never thought it would happen because it was the height of monsoon season, West said. Second, they expected the Marines would transport themselves by helicopter, giving them warning. This time, they went overland through the mountains. Some of the units like foxes went four to seven days without resupplies, boiling roots to eat.